two. Carter in motion. And Cunningham looking and finding Randy Moss for a Minnesota six. Out there. See, because of the motion, Aeneas Williams gets off him. And that's exactly what they wanted. And then the strong safety, Tommy Bennett, has to get on him. Scored the touchdown and then posed for the photographers. Yeah, well, Randy Moss is going to do a lot of things that you've never seen before in the NFL. Get out there and, and you know, anytime Randall Cunningham sees man to man, he's just going to throw a jump ball like he did there. <laughs> That's a wise thing to do. Here's Cunningham again going deep. Out of the end zone. Touchdown. He's in the end zone. Randy Moss. Took him a long time to make the call. What a player. He tells Randall Cunningham, just chuck it out there, dog. And that's exactly what Randall Cunningham did. And here he is up here. You're going to see Randy Moss is running the post pattern. He gives him a little outside move, holds him out there. Randall Cunningham throws a perfect pass. You know, that catch was, we, we, we talked about the throw and the catch, but watch, watch Randy Moss here again. He's going, to, he's going to run that post pattern. And you see he starts out. You see, to, to hold that corner a little to the outside, then he goes inside to give Randall Cunningham a target. And then right here, you see he catches the ball and he gets both feet in. You see, right there's the catch. The left foot was down, now the right foot. Let me do it one more time. Catch, left foot down. We have 36 seconds before halftime. George back. Firing deep. Randy Moss got it. Flag on the play. As Moss backed into the end zone. But I think maybe he might have pushed off. I don't know about that because the official that threw the flag also signaled touchdown. Yes, he did. Yes, and I he think did. he's going to call it against the Dallas Cowboys. He did. He did. Devin Mathis. If Kevin Mathis is right here, and you see the double coverage, you see the safety deep, and he's just going to wait and wait and wait. And I don't know, I don't know that, I, I, I guess he does push there. I mean, it looked like contact there. It's a touchdown anyway. Yep. Kevin Mathis comes over. Charlie. Technical directors Joe Benda. Audio supervisors Fred Alvis. Flag on the play, the engineers Marty Ibeck. Pre-game show is produced by Scott Atkinson, directed by Bob Levy. Randy Moss, and the hands go up. That's a that was a free play. What happened is the Rams jumped offside, so there's going to be a penalty on that. Yep. But I, I think it was a free play for the Minnesota Vikings. Jeff George saw it, and he just All threw side. it down to Randy Moss. This will be a touchdown. Penalty is declined. It's a touchdown. touchdown. Pre-game show produced by, by Scott Ackerson, directed by Bob Levy, senior producer Bill Brown. Let's look at that touchdown. You see the jump there, so now the whistle doesn't blow because the, the defender didn't keep going unabated to the quarterback. He tried to get back, so now Jeff George knows that he has a free one, and even though Randy Moss is being double covered, he just throws it up there for yeah. the touchdown. <laughs> I think George is down there taking a drink. I think you're right. Touchdown, Randy Moss. There's a touchdown. Now that, again, that stops the clock. And then we'll get another onside kick try. 31 seconds left. <laughs> the Vikings are going to say, we just we just got started too late. We should have, instead of that running and balance and all that stuff, when you have Randy Moss and Chris Carter out there, maybe we should. And Darren Perry. Crowd silences when the Vikings have the ball. Almost on cue. First down pass to Randy Moss. And Randy Moss will score for Minnesota. 
Here's the onslaught we talked about. Dick. Didn't take long. And that really wasn't on the corner. That was on Darren Perry, the safety. He took a bad angle and got too high on top of him. And this is the fact that we talked about with Randy, with Randy Moss. The corner's job at this point is you look at Thomas, get your hands, force him wide. He knows there's help sitting over the top. The problem was the help got over this way, Mark, uh, this area too far, too fast, and created an inside move which he took advantage of. And I want you to keep some things in mind. This cover two corner, he's got to get a jam and then roll this way. Force him to the outside knowing your safety's coming over. Here's the mistake right there. See, he got head up. Once he became head up, then he had a two-way go. And you're gonna watch Perry as he comes over the top. See, right, he's gonna show up here. See, when he gets that point, you give him a way here and a way here. He stopped his feet, it was done, he took it to the house. Randy Moss, as you mentioned, uh, backing up his words to Pam Oliver before. Vikings need only a yard for the first down. And the quick to Randy Moss. Touchdown, a 68 yards. Dick, that was a pass for zero. And it was all Randy Moss. And they brought the safety. They brought the safety from the outside. You're gonna see him come, look, here he comes. Right there, now watch. Once he hits the crease, it's over. There's nobody on the field who's gonna outrun him. In fact, the fastest guy for the Saints is right there, Mark Fields. But the safety came up exposed the inside, the corner held the outside, he hit the crease, and it was 78 and out the gate. As Culpepper celebrates, again, he's got that move down, and it looked like every member of the New Orleans secondary was giving chase to Randy Moss in vain. And the conversion by Gary Anderson. So it was 28 minutes since the last catch for Randy Moss, but he can catch his breath now. A 68-yard touchdown, and it was 68 yards what he ran. Watch what's gonna happen. The safety parry is gonna rotate down, and that's gonna create a space right in here. So once he gets inside and gets to that area, it's a foot race. He tries to beat him, so what has to happen? You have to use every inch of the field. And you can see the tight rope that he's walking, or running rather, down that left sideline. There was the last shot by Mark Fields. But Randy Moss is just too fast and too talented. Incidentally, second catch, three plays in the first half touchdown. Paul Pepper off his back foot, flips it up for Moss. Randy Moss makes the adjustment for the touchdown. And Chris, I think Randy Moss might have gotten away with a shove. I'll tell you one thing. Randy Moss called for that football earlier than I've ever seen a wide receiver call for the ball. About five yards off the line of scrimmage, he sees he has Al Harris one-on-one. -on -one. He sticks his hand in the air and he says, Dante, don't even bother looking anywhere else. Throw me the football and just let me make a play, and Randy Moss atones. Take another look at the end of the play. Moss went up to get it. Harris didn't adjust, and it's 14 to nothing, Minnesota. And you take a look, look at Al Harris here. He's playing off, and he told us yesterday he does not like playing Randy Moss off because then he's reacting. The question becomes, did Randy Moss push off? It looked like he might have live, but when you take a closer look at it, Randy Moss did not push off. There's a little bit of an underthrown ball. He came back and made the play. Al Harris was unable to. The Vikings are not inside field goal range for Morton Anderson. Oh, Moss. Randy Moss is in for a touchdown. Playing off, bit up on the route, and Randy Moss, without even really being able to run, as he shoots the moon to the fans here in Green Bay. That is a disgusting act by Randy Moss, and it's unfortunate 
that we had that on our air live. That is disgusting by Randy Moss. Well, let's get back to the play. Randy Moss, I don't even think that was called in the huddle. You see him start to the slant. Al Harris jumps it. He gives him the hand. Dante Culpepper. Al Harris was up on Moss. He really couldn't move at all, and they took full advantage. Randy Moss gets the touchdown, and we go back to the touchdown throw by Culpepper. Yeah, you see Dante, he gives the signal there. That's the slant and go signal. He saw Al Harris off and thought that they could take advantage. And Al Harris saw it too, and he thought he was going to jump and get the interception. I mean, literally, Randy Moss could barely run. On the These two hooked up a record 23 times during the regular season. And now this to take a fourth quarter Super Bowl lead. Well, Corey Webster was in trouble as soon as he started backpedaling off the line of scrimmage. They doubled Wes Welker on the inside and they left Corey Webster one on one on Randy Moss. And it just wasn't a match.